Hey, look, school may have just started, but let's be honest, some of us are already thinking about our Labor Day getaway. That's true. But before you hit the road, you'll want to make sure your car is ready. Automotive expert Zach Jobs has given us some tips to keep our car in tip top shape. A lot of the things that uh, that I see people have issues with on road trips are really things that they could have easily prevented. Uh, if you just check some basic things on your car before you hit the road, you'll usually be in a lot better shape. Uh, if you just check like your fluids, check your brake fluid, check your engine coolant, uh, fill up your windshield washer fluid, and of course check your engine oil. But with the engine oil, in addition to checking the level, you also need to check to see when the last time you had it changed was. And you, know, you need to take into account uh, all the miles you're about to rack up. So if you're due for an oil change or if you're close to due for an oil change, it's a good idea to do one before you hit the road. And when you do, it's really important that you use a high quality synthetic uh, motor oil like Mobile One as opposed to a conventional motor oil. Mobile One is designed uh, to is uh, designed to keep engine components in excellent condition for 250,000 miles, and uh, when compared to conventional motor oil, uh, Mobile One offers outstanding performance, long-lasting protection, and a, an extended engine life. And I don't know what else you could ask of an engine oil. So with those items, I think that really covers more on the prevention side, so things don't go wrong. But sometimes things might go wrong, so what kind of emergency items should we keep in our car? Oh, I love packing a toolbox for a road trip. Uh, it's good to have just some standard hand tools, some pliers, maybe a socket set. Uh, I love some all-purpose tools like duct tape, zip ties. Uh, some safety stuff like a safety triangle and it's important to make sure that you have the tools and the know-how to safely change a flat in case you have one. And what about before getting on the road? What should our viewers know? Uh, so there's, there's a few more things you should check. You should always go around and check your tire pressures. Uh, and you should you can find your tire pressure recommendation uh, somewhere on the car, either the driver's door jam or the glove box, sometimes under the fuel filler door, or always in the owner's manual. But it's important that you get the recommendation from the car and not from the side of the tire. The number on the side of the tire is actually the maximum pressure the tire can handle, and that's not what you want to drive on. So once you have the recommendation, then you take a quality tire pressure gauge, go around the car and check all your pressures, including your spare tire, because if you do need it, you're going to want it to have air in it. Uh, and while you do that, you should also check your tire tread. Um, if you can't tell just by looking, an easy test you can do is called the penny test, where you can just stick Lincoln head first into the tread of your tire. And basically, if it doesn't cover the top of his head and his hair, you need new tires. Uh, another good thing to check is your battery. Uh, take a look at it, look at your terminals, make sure there's no corrosion, make sure they're tight. Your terminals should be tight and clean. Uh, make sure there's no leaking, and make sure your car doesn't seem slow to start. If it does, you might have a problem with the battery. Uh, I, always th I also think it's a great idea to take a test drive in whatever you're going to be driving, especially if it's not your daily driver. But even if it is the car you're used to driving, it's good to take it on a test drive, hit the freeway, and just really focus on the car. Pay attention to it, listen for anything out of the ordinary, any shakes or vibrations or squeaks. Anything that seems out of the ordinary, you should deal with it before you hit the road. All this is really good information. Can you tell our viewers where they can go for more? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can check out mobileoil.com to find the right high quality motor oil for your car. And you can check us out on YouTube at Donut Media and learn more about cars with us.